Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nekesa and if you're new here, please like, subscribe, share and also leave a comment in the comment section. In this video, we are going to learn about applications you can use to learn Kenyan Sign Language. K-S-L application that we are going to talk about in this video is Kenyan Sign Language Dictionary and it is from Mustadi. So this dictionary has different things. The first thing is it has letters and it teaches you how to sign different letters that you will be able to search in the dictionary. The other thing is it has words so you can search any word that you want to learn and they will provide a video to show you how the sign is signed and some explanation at the bottom of the video. So it is a very good one, a good dictionary for you to learn Kenyan Sign Language. The app is online. It's an online app, which means that you can only use it when you have data or Wi-Fi on. You can download some videos from the app and the only problem about that is when you download the videos, they don't save themselves with a name or the letter that the video is explaining. So what you have to do is go back to the video and rename. You have the videos in your gallery or your phone, but if you didn't like understand the sign, then it will be a big problem for you because you won't tell the difference from one video to another. This KSL dictionary from study is a very awesome one and it has been used by very many people and it has its advantages and disadvantages. Advantage that it will give you a video and some explanations of the video or the word that you're searching for and the disadvantage that when you have already downloaded the video you won't tell which video it is about because it doesn't download itself with the name or with the explanation of that video. It just downloads the video alone. But the next app that we are going to talk about is Kenyan Sign Language Dictionary from Deaf Elimu Plus. This app is also an online app and this means that you will only use it when it is online, meaning your data on or your Wi-Fi on. It has letters whereby you can just search any letter that you want to learn and it will show you. Another thing that it has is words. You can search a word that you want to learn the sign for and it will show you a video for it. And you can also search the meaning of the word that you want to know the sign for. Another thing is you can search phrases and it will give you a sign for it. For example, good morning. Good morning is two words. For so, this application, when you search good morning, it is a phrase, it will bring you the sign for it. And another thing is you can search categories of signs or words so that you can know signs for a different or a particular category. For example, if you want to know months of the year, what you do is just search months of the year and then it gives you the signs for those months. The third app we are going to learn about is Kenyan Sign Language Finger Spelling Pro. This is also an app from Deaf Elimu Plus and it is online. An online app whereby you only use it if, it is, if your Wi-Fi is on or your data is on. And it is into four different parts whereby the first one is teach me, the second one is learn or learn letters, the third one is finger spelling practice and the fourth one is quiz. So 
the first one you will write whatever you want the app to show you how to fill that spell if it is a name or a place or just a random word what you do is type in what you want for the app to show you then the app will show you how to finger spell the word the second one is learn or learn letters whereby when you tap on that learn the app will show you how to sign or how to finger spell the letters from a to z then the third one is finger spelling practice this is whereby the app will select whichever word it wants for you to write after Super. the finger spelling what the word is so it is just for you to practice the receptive part whereby you are the one who is receiving and not the one who is expressing now here the app will finger spell a word or words for you to write at the end of it what the word is if you are right then it gives you a congratulatory message if you are wrong then it will tell you you are wrong then the fourth one which is the quiz is whereby you do an exam it is just like an exam in the class so what the app does is it gives you some words whereby you're supposed to say at the end of that word what the word is it finger spells one word when you get it it goes to the next one and the next one and the next one until you finish the exam then at the end of the exam it will tell you how many words you got right and how many words you got wrong so that is how it is one thing about this app is if you are a learner you don't know anything about sign language you can change the speed at which the app will finger spell the words or letters to you and you can also select the amount of letters you want so if you only want a word which has three letters you can select you, ha you want a three letter word or words then the speed that you want so when the app is giving you the quiz or you are practicing then it will follow the speed and the amount of words that you want to learn if you want more words then you can just change and say you want more words and you want less it is you to decide it is a very good app for you to learn the next app that we are going to talk about is finger spelling pro for kids it is also a product of Deaf Elimu Plus. It's divided into four different parts. The letters or learning letters. There is a finger spelling quiz. There is finger spelling sort and finger spelling puzzle. So the first one is finger spelling letters. Just like any other app that I've already mentioned, all you need to do in this part is learn the letters of the alphabet in kenyan sign language the next one is the finger spelling quiz whereby it finger spells a certain word and you're supposed to write which word it is it is just for easier understanding of kenyan sign language the receptive part whereby someone is signing for you or to you and you are reading what they are signing that's what the finger spelling quiz helps you to do or be a good receptive finger speller or something of the sort then the other one is finger spelling sort because it is for kids and you can also use it it is a good one here you are supposed to arrange the pictures of the finger spelled letters from a to z so it is just a mixture of the pictures for the finger spelled letters that you are supposed to arrange that is how that is why it is called the finger spelling sort you are supposed to arrange the letters from the first one to the last one the finger spelling puzzle is whereby just like any other puzzle a picture is broken into smaller pieces then it is 
randomly placed and you're supposed to arrange it the way it is supposed to be so in this occasion or in this situation the picture in this case is a finger spelled letter so maybe it is a b so this b picture is taken and then broken into smaller pieces and what you're supposed to do is put them together and make a b so you can find this part is placed under here and this part is placed on the other side so the picture is broken and mixed up for you to arrange it is not only for kids you can also use it and it will help you to know which letter is supposed to be where and how a letter is signed because of the quiz there are so many applications that you can use to learn sign language from different countries from different categories but i just chose the four that we've talked about to learn kenyan sign language but if you want to learn sign language from a different country you can just go to the play store or wherever else that you can download the app from and get the app that you want you can get offline apps and other online applications and it is for you to choose if you want an American app, a Hindi app, a Ugandan one. I'm not sure if a Ugandan one is there, but I know that we have several apps to learn Kenyan Sign Language. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining and watching this video till this part. And if you have not subscribed until now, what are you waiting for? Please join the family and learn sign language and anything to do with deafness and hearing impairment and I believe that it will help you even if you don't know anyone who is deaf even if you don't know and you don't have any person in the family who is deaf it will just help you in many other different ways let's learn Kenyan sign language see you in my next video bye